All right, well, I'm about to uh, do some blood samples, get some blood tested. My buddy John over, over here uh, takes the blood and he's got all those different vials over there. We got that all set up. But we always, uh, we always start with this. I gotta go to the bathroom and pee into this thing and then give it to him and then he does his thing with it. <laughs> <laughs> So these vials, they're different um, departments of the lab. Um, so we have hematology, we have chemistry, we have coag. Um, so these tubes have to go to different departments of the laboratory because each department runs a specific test. And then your analysis is a completely different um, stage of the lab. So these tubes will probably go on probably about four or five different analyzers to get the results. Um, once they're resulted, they're usually done probably about two to three days. Some of them will be done in 24 hours and they go straight to the ordering physician and then he does a follow up with the patient for results. Yeah, and I have uh, Brandon at uh, Merrick Health. Uh, he's a patient care coordinator and then Merrick also sets me up with a doctor. So uh, I have follow up, you know, if I have questions or concerns or, um, just maybe didn't understand something that Brandon went over or said to me. Um, and then when we go over the blood work, uh, both of those guys are on the call with me going over each and every little detail to make sure everything's good to go. Recovering from workouts, uh, sleeping well, all that stuff. If I'm not doing something right, it will show up in the blood. Yeah, absolutely. That's your, that's your blueprint. <laughs> yeah, yeah if, I'm, if I'm drinking and not getting sleep and like all that stuff, it'll all show up in there. All right, you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right. These nurses get excited when they see veins. <laughs> like, oh, this guy's an easy target. Yeah. <laughs> you hit it from across the room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do some people not feel well when they so it depends. Usually individuals that know they have issues um, with drawing large amounts of blood, they usually lay down. Because you deal with older folks and stuff too, right? Older. We do a lot of pediatrics. Mm. Um, That's got to not feel very good when you're 80 and someone's sticking you with a needle. Yeah. Is it safe for people to exercise on the same day? Yeah, you can. Um, the most important thing with after getting your blood drawn is just holding pressure on the site for about mm. 10 minutes after you get your blood drawn so that blood doesn't get underneath your skin and cause a bruise. Mm. Um, usually large amounts like this, this will do nothing for you, for you so you shouldn't mm -hmm. feel anything. Right. Yeah. When somebody donates blood, is it like four times the amount of that? or is it, you know? Probably two times. Okay. Um, and it's in a bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those individuals sometimes they do get a little lightheaded. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I donate blood, they're but like, you don't have to fast for for donating. Mm. You just go in there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They'll ask me uh, if I want to donate my blood or my plasma. I'm like, I don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I know one of them. I got to sit there for a lot longer. Anyway. So, so blood is whole blood. So that's for people who needs blood in emergency situations. Mm -hmm. Plasma is what we get off from. Uh, the red blood cells mm. um, and plasma is used for a lot of making a lot of medications that we use. Yeah, I've had from I had a friend that had uh, his daughter had uh, she had leukemia. So since I found out about that situation mm -hmm. a couple years back, I've always donated some blood. People need it. They do. There's always going to be a shortage. Mm -hmm. You feel That's, okay? Yeah. All right. What's inside the um, inside some of these. So this SST tube has a clotting factor in it, um, which we call coagulants inside the tubes. So this accelerate the clotting factors in the tube. So we want this tube to clot. Mm. And so it'll make it like a gel, like a jello. Right. Um, and then some of these tubes, like this lavender tube here, <clears throat> has a additive in it to where it won't clot because mm. we need whole blood mm. to put on the analyzer. Yeah, and the blood gets uh, spun, right, in some machine? It does get spun in a centrifuge. We have a 12-slot centrifuge, mm -hmm. um, so a lot of these will all get spun down. Some of them won't get spun down because we need the whole blood. When you spin them down, um, you're either going to get serum or plasma. For the tubes that, like this lavender tube that doesn't clot, 
it's going to create plasma. For the tubes that do clot, it's going to be serum. And that's just what the what the machine calls for. It's going right. to say, hey, do, do I need serum for the test or mm -hmm. do I need plasma for the test? And if you don't spin it, you probably can't really test it, right? No, you can't test it. It's going to get rejected. Uh, who the hell figured all this out? You know, somebody uh, had to figure all this out at some it's point. It's a lot of air. <laughs> <laughs> John usually gives me a candy bar and, and, a, and a sticker. And a sticker. <laughs> we don't have any cool band-aids today, though. Damn. <laughs> you have other meatheads that come to you, or am I the only one? Oh, no, man. We see, man, we see a lot of patients every Couple week. Couple fitnessy people. Yeah. And that's what, you know, they like to know what's going on, because it gives right. them a blueprint. Maybe they need to change something in their diet, um, a sleep regimen. All right, pressure on that for about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. You're not going to see anybody else that comes and takes your blood that has the style that this man has. Like, <laughs> he's got the jacket matching the watch. He's got the shoes. So he's got something new going on every time. Here's this guy. Can I get a label on this? What's your, uh, like, what is, uh, what's your official job title and how did you um, get so, into this? So laboratory scientists, um, it falls on a, lift, a lot of different categories. So you do full biomy, you do analysis, you do um, intake of patients. Um, it's a lot of stuff that's, that's under that. Um, how I got into it, my sister. Yes, so she was a lab tech. And when I got out of school, I was like, well, man, what do I want to do? I know I want to go in the military. I know I don't want to go in the military. My dad was in the military. <laughs> and I was like, well, I got this football thing going. So I did that for a little bit. And then um, I was like, Tracy, I was like, what do you do? She was like, I'm a lab tech. So she said, you might like it. So I tried it. Mm. And I've been at it since 2002, man. Oh, cool. Yeah. So my specialty is pediatrics. Um, mm -hmm. Specialty pediatrics, like Down syndrome kids. Yeah. Um, cancer patients. Those tough ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so adults, they come easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, do you, um, you don't work for the hospitals anymore though, right? Sometimes, I do do some on-call stuff for Kaiser Pediatrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roseville. It's a couple hours a month just to stay and keep tuned up. Right, Yeah. but it's a little different than... Oh, it's a whole lot different. Yeah, that different this... than somebody that's uh, gotta be kinda in the hospital setting. Mm -hmm. So this day, is, week, right? exactly, so that, I call that traditional. What we just did is untraditional. Mm -hmm. It probably feels good or, or it's probably good for you mentally to mix it up. Oh bit, yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. It's like hitting the reset button. Because <laughs> yeah. you have to, there's different Being rules. in the hospital day in and day out, it's got to be tough. Oh yeah. yeah. And it, you can come complacent because it's like a assembly line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. cool though to have people that have seen stuff before, you know, like a nurse. You know, you might get like a cut or something and go to the hospital and you might kind of be freaking out about it. But a nurse or someone will be like, oh, no, we, we, they see it all the time. They right? see it all the time. You're going to be, you know, you're going to be gonna okay. Be, you're going to be calm. Yeah. yeah, it's good to have someone <laughs> that calm you down when you really need it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate oh, it. You're welcome, man. And then what's the damage? Uh, just 180 today. 180. I've been hiding my wallet from my wife, so there's actually yeah, money. Yeah, so you got there. money in it. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank appreciate you much. It. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot, man. See you soon. Yes, sir. So it takes a little bit of time. Definitely takes some money. You know, uh, John is uh, somebody I researched and looked up and... You know, he's a, a local guy that just drives right to me. So sometimes he'll drive to me here at work. Today I have a podcast, so it's super convenient for me to meet him here. Um, and I also want to work out later today. So you're not supposed to work out before you give blood or before you, uh, you know, are getting some blood tests done, given some labs. I've been doing this for a handful of years now, um, probably for the last five or six years. There's videos dating back to when I was powerlifting. And you can watch some of those videos. You can see some of those on Super Training 06 YouTube channel. 
and uh, Stan Efferding was walking me through the blood work and stuff and it was great to have Stan uh, there for me. Stan can read blood really, really well. He researches it really well. But there is, there are different levels. You know, they're getting to, you know, premier doctors and getting to um, patient care coordinators that are going to be there every step of the way. I can ask them every single stupid question that you would think would be a stupid question and they're going to give you back some answers and feedback. A lot of times in terms of uh, Merrick Health, when they assist me with particular supplements, maybe they recommend magnesium or zinc or different things. They're gonna tell you the dosage to take. Um, they're gonna give you lifestyle habits on top of, they, there might need to be pharmaceutical interventions. And even with those pharmaceutical interventions, in my opinion, those aren't great things to just kind of haphazardly go along your way with doing with some crap you get from some guy at a gym or something like that. So. Uh, is way you're going to be way better off it's way safer of a practice you see trt and hrt um, hor hormone replacement kind of all over the place right now you see it kind of everywhere you're hearing burt kreischer talking about it and you're hearing uh, tom segura talk about it and joe rogan and you're seeing a lot of different places the reason why you're hearing so many people talk about it is that uh, having your hormones elevated and having your body optimized can be really really life-changing so if you're sitting on the couch and you don't understand why you're not motivated anymore and you don't seem to be able to put one foot in front of the other, uh, I really strongly suggest that you look into a company like Merrick Health because even though there's gonna be some time and there's gonna be some money, there's gonna be some headaches, there's gonna be you learning a lot of new things about yourself and about the different things that you might need and you might have some lifestyle changes to go along with all that. Um, it will it will really result in some massive changes in you that you're going to notice and that the people around you are going to notice so huge fan of Merrick Health thank you so much for everybody over there really appreciate all the support over the years strength is never a weakness weakness is never strength catch you guys later